So is it even possible to beat some of these Roblox games with only one life? Well, today, I came up with a list of some Roblox games I'm trying to beat, and boys, the first game we're going to play is called Guts and Block Powder, a game developed by Roblox Group Guts and Block Powder, and to summarize, it is a zombie game that takes place during the Napoleonic War times. And alrighty boys, we're in a new game right now. Let's just vote for San Sebastian, I guess. That's like, I think that might be the best map, right guys? I think I'm gonna join Seaman here, versus like, Infantry, because like, I really like Seaman a lot. Raise the gates. Okay, where are these zombies at? Oh, that's a zombie right there! Thank you for saving me. Man, we were off to such a good start. I already got tackled by one of those runners. If there's any bombers to decide, I guess I'll try to get them. But my main goal is to definitely, like, crowd control, get you know, like, the big chunks of zombies. Oh, that's a bomber right there. I think that guy just died. Shoot. I just saw three guys back there. Let's move out. Let me just fast forward a bit. We're able to make it down pretty easily. Place down all these planks here. Pretty much eliminate all these zombies. The reinforcements arrive, and we're able to make it down here. Let's bring up this lift here. It looks like everyone else is going to defend. That's really nice. We have some more people coming from the top, which is great. Yeah, turn over. Let's turn it over like so, then push it. Let's say there's another dead person here. I don't know if that's a player or that was already there. Huh? Lower the lift back. Dude, I don't know if I can lower the lift. Let's get all those people there, those chunks of zombies. Oh, shoot. Oh! Okay, let's run! Let's just go! Timmy, let's just go! And okay, how many people are alive? I think it's just the five of us, bro. It's only five people left! Oh my goodness, okay. Oops. Oh, that guy's jumping. Oh, that's a lantern guy, whatever his name is. Let's step behind! Okay, I got you! Okay, got him! Okay, continue through the buildings. Ouch! Oh my goodness. We were so low in HP. So fast forward a bit. We're able to get through the building safely. I shot this huge horde of zombies here. We're able to launch this rocket to blow up the door, then get past this one gate, and then we got to this lift area. Okay, blunderbuss time. Got him. They did a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Get here now. I am here, sir. I am here. I think this guy's actually gonna sacrifice. He said goodbye, brothers. Okay, I got you. Thank you very much. I love you. Let's make sure I have full ammo in case there's some people, zombies down there. Alright, we're sabers are building defenses around here, though. That's really good. What is this guy doing here? Dude. Die. Oh my goodness. I see them. I see the bomber. Do I have range? Yes, I do have range. Look at that. That's a runner right there. But that's fine. My teammates got me! We're charge attacking or something! Get on the boats! Get on the boats! Get away from me! Let's go! Oh my goodness, we did it, boys. We survived. We actually survived within, like, what? Zero, uh, one life, zero deaths? I mean, don't get me wrong, this is nothing special. Everyone always does this with zero deaths, right? But guys, that's the whole point of this challenge. Just try to not die in the game. Nice. So our next game is called Decaying Winter, a game made by Roblox Group Eden 227. And the game is a survival way-based shooter with a heavy emphasis on individual, as well as team performance and not failing. And alrighty, my friends, we're currently in Decaying Winter right now. Let's go over here, click this Join Game button, because, you know, we're ready. Okay, I feel quenched. I really don't care. Let's just maybe uh, grab this crowbar in case we need it for something, for like some protection, right? Let's get some ammo and some stuff for uh, our teammates, of course, because like we're gonna get carried in this game. Pretty sure if you grab this thing right here, it's actually a bad thing, because like this guy says, I will find you, right? Or like, I'll touch you. I, I don't know, something like that. Enemy spotted. And okay, we have this light attack and also like this heavy attack. Let's do that. Oh, I see them. Heavy attack. Oh, he pushed me. Let's just uh, do that. Get away from me, bro. Oh, we might die! Oh my goodness, my teammates saved me. Thank you so much, teammates. Let's try to heal here. Um, We're in a double heal here. We're bleeding out and everything. Yes, exiting safe area, I know. No beds here. 
There's still like some ammo we can get. Uh, my, my teammate can get that actually. We got some like chemist exotic. I don't know what that is. Apparently I'm good now. Rifle blueprint, I'll pick that up. There's also a pizza cutter. Some more tablets, sure, I'll take that. Ouch. I got shot or hit by something, I don't know. Let's drop this uh, rifle blueprint. And wait a minute, am I bleeding out or something? Oh wait, I am bleeding out, what? Oh shoot, um, I, I, I'm at 2 HP. Chat, I think I'm dead. Ooh. Yeah, I'm dead, oh my. So our next game is called SCP-087, The Stairwell. A game developed by Roblox Rip Top Hat Studios, and is a game based off of SCP-087, where your goal is to journey through the endless staircase that houses SCP-087. And alrighty boys, we are here in the game right now. I ain't gonna lie, I hate playing horror games, but guys, we're not gonna be afraid, okay? Let's just start the game right now. Oh my goodness, this is kinda scary. Okay, so now you're inside. Yes, guys, I'm inside right now. I'm inside the SCP. Haha. Uh -huh. Surely there's gonna be no jump scares popping at me or anything like that. Like, surely not. What was that noise? Nah, you guys heard that, right? Let's pick up this battery, because we do have batteries in this game. With the flashlight and stuff. Oh my goodness. I, I hate games like this, chat. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate games like this. Let's just try to make it to, like, floor 50. That's literally the floor I made it to last time. Floor 14, though. Oh, we have to go inside somewhere. Shoot, we have to go inside. Hey, there better be there better not be anything here. Let me jiggle peek the corners. Oh hell no, I'm not looking there. I'm not looking there. On oh, god. Oh! My flashlight! Oh my goodness, that scared me. God. Oh! Oh my goodness. Why did that scare me so much? Uh my my, my head hurts or, or something hurts. I'm not gonna say what, but something hurts. Alright, so let me just fast forward again. There wasn't really too much action besides some like random jump scares, which kinda got me, but like I was kind of anticipating them. And the only problem with this run was the amount of batteries I was getting. I couldn't really find any, and I was always low on battery. Oh god, chat, no battery! It's fine though, we can do this thing quickly. We click on this thing, right? There we go. We click on that thing. Then we go over here, we click on this thing. That thing probably opens this door here, right? Yes, it does. Okay, another brick right there. Hurry up and open! Hurry up! Wait, where's the last brick? Wait! Wait, what? There's one more brick! My battery's going out! Where's the button? Where's the button? There's a wire right there! Are you kidding me right now? I died to the same exact spot as the last time, by the way. That sucks so much. So our next game is called Randomly Generated Droids, a game made by Roblox user Just Enough Ideas, and it is a procedurally generated roguelike game that focuses heavily on sword fight mechanics. And yes, guys, we're here on Randomly Generated Droids. Pretty sure this game also got an update as well, which is very nice. I think it's best if I play solo, because like, honestly, I prefer to play solo when it comes to these games. And also, let's try to not take any sort of damage within the first world. And it's been a hot minute since I played this game, but I think I still, uh, have some of the mechanics down. You know, all these fighting mechanics try to not take any damage. Everything is coming back to me, which is perfect. But yeah, I actually like this game very much, just because it's like a roguelike game, and I do like roguelike games. Nice, no damage. And let's see over here. We have a short circuit, already has. Oh, is that some golden arrow? Nah, I'd rather just use this golden circuit right now. To fast forward a bit, the game went pretty smoothly. I was able to eliminate all the droids here, and also collecting some items and buying some items as well. Things were looking pretty good, until things took a pretty big turn. This guy's a tanky boy. Oh, this guy does damage though. I have such bad range. Which is of course expected, so uh, let's try to uh, maybe jump on this guy's head. Nice! Smart! Oh, we just converted this guy to friendly. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, I don't know what that was. I don't even know what happened. Anti-droid, please get him. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm a dead man. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know why I'm saying what, as if I, uh, I, I didn't just kiss him in the face. Yeah, I'm just done here, boys. I'll see you guys next time.